Salutations, ladies and germs. My name is Mr. Fox, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And today we are going to be looking at the Akarai's Redemption, the bow you can obtain from the Garden of Salvation raid. It has 66. The quiver, 720 drop time, reload speed, yeah. handling, pretty decent. Stability, never really mattered a whole lot on bows, in my opinion. Accuracy. Ridiculous. Impact. High. In terms of perks, we have moving target, increased movement speed, and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. No distractions. Aiming this weapon for a short period reduces flinch. Compact arrow shaft. Thinner arrows to maximize quiver size. Increases the capacity. We could go down to natural fletching, but that's going to shave off some accuracy and, again, Bows really don't need stability, in my opinion. In terms of the bow string, we have a high tension string. Greatly increases accuracy at the cost of draw time and stability. We could have a polymer string, which increases our accuracy. Yeah, right. Brings our draw time down to 648. Which, well, either way, this bow is going to two-tap. I may as well go for the faster draw time. It's intrinsic, a precision frame, compound bow, longer draw time, optimized for damage. And we have a stability masterwork. Would have preferred a draw time one, but hey. And a targeting adjuster. Why does this sound like a game in progress? Bungie? Bun that. At least it's our burning mall, so that's always nice. Yeah. Maybe we can hit him with a nade and it won't bounce in a weird way. It bounced in a really weird way. That's uh, uh mm, No, thank you. No, thank you. That's why we not we reviewing any of the weapons from this season. Uh, um, well. See, here's the thing. I wanted to actually have a good uh, bit of weaponry to show you. And... Both the steel, well, the 720 auto rifle and the fusion I have don't have the best rolls on them. So, in the interest Fire of team that fights together, stays together. giving you guys worthwhile reviews, I decide why not. Spawn it till we actually get a good roll. Three minutes left. Team, save me. Team, I'm under great duress. This is amazing. And that's why we have huh. fire teams. I honestly did not expect that to work. You gained the lead. Fox, why aren't you using your... Uh, what? Hmm? Hmm? My Oath Keepers? Because then I can of two throw knives and that would make me sad. How did oh talents. Yeah, that makes sense. But on the bright side we're winning. On the downside, 
<laughs> it's this map. No one likes this map. Mm, it's such a bad map. Prize, motherfucker. Are you two trying to get Komodo still? I know I should get around to doing that, but at the same time, come on, it's Komodo. No one's going to use that. You know, at first I was like, no distractions on the boat. That's going to be great. Then I realized there's very few times I'm actually going to be aiming down the sights all the time with the boat. Yeah. I mean... Maybe if it you also had third eye, C. that would be you cool. Can I take third eye over what I have? Zone A lost. You shut the enemy down. I don't suppose you guys are gonna come back out Zone here, B, Captain. dude. Zone why? Is yours. You got thirty seconds. That's a friendly. And that's death. I'm trying to save you, but like, they're scary. Ten seconds. This is wonderful. I did it. I saved you guys. I'm the best. And then I got murdered. And we're gonna lose by like Defeat. five points. Comes for us all. Ah, humanity. Really didn't think this whole no distractions on both through. You eat monsters yeah. for breakfast. You can win a battle for territory. Yeah. Again. On the bright side, we did pretty decent. On the downside. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna walk around like this so we can use no distractions. Feels very counterintuitive. But it's also very counterintuitive. And I did switch my, uh, well, back to the slower draw time with a little more accuracy on this. Peek again, I dare you. Question Arrow, did you just disappear into the ether or? Where'd you go? Cause I saw an absolute enemy. And I fired that arrow at said absolute enemy. So I just want to know what happened. Hello. Want to use no distractions, but like at the same time, I also want to see. They've taken the lead. So it's you could turn this tide. It's pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. Come on, come up here, come up here. You know you want it. You know you want it. No. Why? I meant like one at a time, so I could look cool picking you all off. Not. Not that. Never that. Now, I do have, I'm pretty sure, bow targeting, enhanced bow loaders, <laughs> bow dexterity, and bow unflinching. Woo! I mean, it helps when you peek out if you have enough time to prop the no distractions before you peek. Ow. Rude. You're in the lead. But otherwise, no distractions isn't, in my opinion, all that useful. Probably better in PvE when you're actually, you know, aiming down your sights like a little more. Glory is yours. I 
I need a hunter like you with a red jack. You know, I would love an exotic bow with it. Ish, there is nothing you can do. This is the traveler's judgment. Ye be judged. Because it's traveler's place. judgment. How did I body? How did the what? Oh, me? What? What's happening there, me? We having a little. Oh, this is bad. One more guardian. Yeah, and I want to not die and actually see how much super time I have left. Thank you very much. Double down. Thank you. Yes, you take them like they grow from trees. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Did you murder him? I hear pitter patter of footsteps. I feel very naked and afraid. And I whiffed. And that's and whiffed. why we have fire team. Come on, buddy. Oh. Please come from the front and not the side. Damn it! Didn't hit him in the head. You know, it's a weird time when Spectral, after all these nerfs, all these buffs, somehow feels like it's the most consistent super again. <laughs> You're falling behind. I, with my arc staff, if I don't pop it directly in Five front of minutes. you, Could go your way. probably not Could gonna go way. my way. Your enemy can't Suck it, nerd! Look right there. If my team just backs off, doesn't fight them, they'll most Aim likely the be able to get out alive without having to worry about, you know, actually fighting the super. It's weird. It's also pretty weird to play this game always ADSing. The life of a blueberry. But hey, it's a smoke. Don't teabag the smoke. They have the lead. But the match is oh, this is bad. We do not have the range of most scout rifles, which for balancing purposes is either really good or really strange that the bow can't match them, considering how slow they fire. Well, most of them anyways. I have no idea what the fuck was hitting me. Oh, Lamar. Three minutes left. Mm -mm. He strafed, didn't he? Yeah, he strafed. Yeah. A one weakness to my throwing knife if they just move in any other direction. I'm gonna whiff. So next time you complain about throwing after the face, remember, she just did this. It's that simple. You, you just do this. Or this. Or this. Literally any movement, I'm probably gonna miss you. Now, coming in a straight line. That's not even... That's on the other side of a chunk of rock. The punch! 
Is bow gameplay the most riveting gameplay you've ever seen? N no, it's a bow. It is... It feels like every other bow. The enemy has gained ground, but it's not over. And that's a wall. That's a wall. That's the walking seventh column. I don't want any of that. Mm -mm. I hear it, but I don't see it, and that frightens me. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Can we not do this right now, guys? One minute. Really? You're gonna spawn me, then spawn the whole enemy team with me? Really, Bungie? Really? Can you at least flash on the screen, maybe with an air siren? Spawns flipping, spawns flipping, spawns flipping! Like, I would greatly appre appreciate that. You've got 30 seconds. We're not going to talk about that knife I threw, expecting him to strafe, and he didn't strafe. Got this bow, pretty boring to use. Pretty boring to use. Like, unless your bow's exotic, it's Defeat. probably Come just going to feel like every other bow. Like, every single bow. They just feel the same. Like, there's nothing that differentiates them. This doesn't feel there's any no different than no turning back. Surrender. And Fight the again, faster rate of fire ones. Yours. Like, even the game is bored of it at this point. It is so... I don't know. I mean, if you like bows, I guess, knock yourself out. Otherwise, it just doesn't feel all that different to any other bow. Bows? Would you load? We're in orbit menu. You, you don't have to be real slow. I thought there was more bows in the game than this. <laughs> Yeesh. Akrai's Redemption feels exactly like a oh, turning back. Spiteful Fang feels pretty much like Arsenic Bite. Just with better perks. Mainly because it's, you know, easier to farm that thing. So Calamity just feels like a energy version of No Turn Back. Tyranny of Heaven, I'm assuming, I haven't really played around with it, feels exactly like an arsenic bite. Like, the only ones that feel any different seem to be the Vow and Hush. That's just because you can get rapid it. I can't remember if you can get rapid hit on Spike Fang, but if you can, then the bow just feels like a version of the Spike Fang. Eh. Like the God Roll version of the Spike Fang. It's just, it's weird. I don't know if Akrai's Redemption can get rapid hit. That would be pretty cool, but Archer's Tempo. Like, we didn't really get any perks on this that felt like there were bow perks, you know? And hush, only the last word trapped in bow form trying to break free. This only feels useful in PvE, that's why I mine out. And only for the dungeon. A moving target, yeah, it helps with strafing, no distractions, I guess, if you're in a drawn out fight, but. I don't know. On a bow, it just. didn't feel like it changed the weapon a whole lot. So. These two perks, eh, I mean, moving target's pretty decent. No distractions, I honestly would have preferred something else. It's a decent bow. It just feels like every other bow. And kind of looks like every other bow. The, the, like, the designers for the bows take day off, like, we're just going to copy-paste this, we're done. Also kind of looks like Lamarck. 
Really, the only bows that differentiate themselves from every other bow are exotics, and there's only three of them. All four if you count Leviathan's Breath. But that's just some heavy, that's a whole other thing. I don't know. Bows are just... pretty dull. Pretty dull. I remember when we first got them, it's like, oh my god, these are so cool. And now it's like, ah, this is just a filler episode. Let's be honest, this is filler, so I can go grind out some obelisks and sundial. I didn't do that over the break. I mean, yeah, I was playing, trying to platinum Tomb Raider, so shut the hell up. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and hope you all have an amazing day, and stay classy. And thank you for staying with us in this rather dull video. She got two little horns in the pit,